Hey guys, it's Deckerin here and welcome back to our PC build video. Today we'll be building the best $800 gaming PC. That is right, so let's get into the specs. For our CPU, we have the Ryzen 7 5700G. That is right, this has got integrated graphics, it's got eight cores, 16 threads, we have a base clock of 3.8 gigahertz, which is really good off the rip. We have a boost clock of 4.7, so this is gonna be absolutely amazing. It only comes at a price of $164, so I cannot wait to use this. For our motherboard, we got the Gigabyte B450, 50M. This has got Wi-Fi included, it's got one gigabit ethernet, and this has everything you really need for actually a motherboard without any fancy stuff to it. But by the cheap price of $85, this is honestly gonna be perfect for our build. Now, for our CPU cooler, I got two options for you guys. First of all, if you wanna save some money, you could use the stock cooler that comes with actually the CPU, which is the race self cooler. However, if you do wanna get more performance out of your eight core CPU, I would recommend upgrading to the Deepcool LT720. This has got actually three 120 millimeter fans on it. It's got water cooling to it, 360 rad, for only a price of $109. This is gonna be a massive upgrade for actually build, but if you do wanna save some money, you could always go with the stock cooler. For our boot drive, we have the Samsung 980 Pro 1 terabyte SSD. That is right. This has honestly got some amazing reads and writes, and it's honestly such a fast boot drive. It's like the best drive you can get on the market right now because the price of this thing is only $109, and I've used this for multiple builds now, and I love using it as a boot drive. It's just so freaking good. You can't have a build with less than 500 or 500 gigabytes of storage. You need at least one terabyte, and honestly, this is great for our build. For RAM, I have two options for you guys. If you guys wanna save some money, I could recommend the G-Skill, actually 16 gigabyte kit, 32 megahertz, which comes at a price of actually $36, so that's really good. But if you wanna get some future proofing, I would recommend to what I have here, the Corsair Vengeance 32 gigabyte kit, 36 megahertz, which is great for our Ryzen CPU since they take advantage of high frequency memory, and also just gonna be some super fast RAM for our actual build for gaming. Next up for our GPU, we have two options for you guys. If you guys wanna get a newer GPU that of course have some future proofing, I would recommend the RTX 3060 12 gig, which this GPU is honestly perfect for our PC build for price to performance, go great with our CPU, and of course it has future proofing if you wanna use it for like streaming, video editing, that's where that 12 gigs of VRAM really comes into play, like you can do a lot more or down line for multitasking with it, which is absolutely amazing. And of course, the price of this thing is actually at $289. You can't actually find the Trio version for like $299 or $300. So yeah, if you wanna get the Trio version like we have here, you can do so, or you can get yourself the Duo version. For the other GPU, I recommend the RTX 2080 Super. That is right, you can find a ton of these on the third hand market. I would not recommend spending more than $250 on this. I would actually recommend spending less. And of course, this is an amazing GPU, even still in 2024. And the price of this thing actually fits well beyond our budget. And of course, if we do get this, if you find a good deal, you can spend a little bit more money on something else in this actual PC build, whether it be the RAM upgrade I talked about earlier, the AIO, or something else. But uh, if you can't find a good deal, then the RTX 3060 is still really good. Now for this PC build video, we are trying something new. We're gonna actually come build this PC and actually test out the GPU with actually multiple games. So like, we're gonna have some benchmarks, low the high with the actual 3060, and then we're gonna have some low the high with actually the 2080 Super. So you can actually see the performance depending on which variation of the build you want to go for. And of course, our power supply for this build is the Thermaltake 700 watt 80 plus actual power supply. Now this has only got a white rating, but I've used this for multiple PC builds, had no problem with it so far, so that's good to go. And it only comes at $55, so this will be perfect for our build. And finally, for our PC case, we have the Monotech Air 903 Max. We used this in a recent PC build video, and of course, this case is so freaking nice because I did a whole review video on it. If you want to go in full detail, definitely check out that video. But the big thing to keep in mind, this only comes at an $80 and has everything you really need for a PC build. So let's get into the build process. So for the PC build, it's actually be cut short because I actually did a recent PC build for a $2,400 gaming PC. And originally that was gonna be my new gaming PC because I got like the i9, the motherboard, and of course everything was built and then the motherboard went bad, which it wasn't like it broke. It's more like I couldn't use it on the RAM slots, so I couldn't use dual channel. And honestly, dual channel really impacts you if you don't have it when you actually game. So this is gonna be my new PC build. So all we really do is like switch out the motherboard, replug in everything in, install our CPU, and we're pretty much good to go. Well, let's get into testing because that's gonna be the fun part.
This PC turned out pretty good. First of all, I just want to quickly say the look of this PC with both GPUs looks really nice. Of course, have that kind of like metalish vibe to it. And on top of that, that clean black accents. And this build just looks awesome with the mirror finish from that actual deep cool fan. I was assume with the stock cooler, it still look really cool too, but it wouldn't have as much brownie points, if you know what I'm saying. And the actual benchmarking from this turned out pretty good. I did test a lot more games. However, I only included like Apex and Fortnite just because if I included all the rest of the footage, this video would probably be 20 minutes long so just something to keep in mind but the 2080 super only outperformed the 3060 but like 20 to 15 percent which isn't too crazy so if you are looking like to get an aftermarket 2080 you can do so and of course it might be a little hassle to get your hands on so if you do want to not do that and go through the pain you can just get a 3060 and of course you saw the specs from that and the benchmarking turned out really good i will say though i was thinking about including the 4060 from this actual video the problem with it is i don't have a 4060 to test on hand so i didn't want to really recommend it even though the price between the 4060 and the 3060 is practically the same i would just say the 3060 is better because the memory bus on it is better uh, was more vram and a few other things the only difference between that and also like the what is it the 4060 
it slightly outperforms gaming but doesn't have that extra vram that can be used to future proof so either way i think both gpus turn out pretty good and of course if you want to go the 4060 you can absolutely do so with this build just up to you at that point but uh yeah if you guys enjoy this pc build let me know by smashing the like button and let me know what you guys think about this actual build you think it was a good build bad build for 800 dollars be curious to see what you guys say if you don't miss out on future tech content make sure to smash the like button i'll see you guys for my one tech rant out